So you've just arrived from Western Kentucky where you spent four years with your team. You were a star in your team with great statistics. Was becoming a professional a big change for you? It's different, the European game compared to the American game. It's uh, just a little bit different. I think the European's a little bit quicker. Um, and, uh, but it's, it's, it's a little more fun to play because you stay more engaged and it's quicker and you know, it's, it's just a lot more fun to watch too. So. Did you plan to play in France or Europe or did it happen by chance? I, uh, I wanted to play in Europe um, and um, because there's no opportunities to play professional in the United States anymore. Um, so uh, the opportunity came up here in France and um, so I just took it. Um, I didn't know where, where I would go, um, but I was just excited to be playing in Europe and, and still playing soccer, so, or football. <laughs> Did you know the French League or certain French clubs before coming? Um, I knew of Paris Saint-Germain, or Paris Saint-Germain, and <laughs> PSG, and I also knew of Olympic Lyon. Uh, uh, more so on the men's side than the women's, but yeah, I knew of them. Did you watch the Champions League when you were in the US? Uh, the Champions League, uh, yes. Um, I do, I follow some, my Western Kentucky coaches, my university coaches, they always watch and would get us to watch games because you can learn so much from, from watching men's soccer and European soccer. So yeah, I, I followed a little bit. Mm -hmm. When you were young, which player inspired you to play football and why? Um, I, my idol was Mia Hamm and uh, that was the big, she was the big star in the States. Um, and she really instilled in me the dream to want to play professionally and um, so I actually dressed up for her in, for Halloween one year so <laughs> dyed my hair uh, brown but um, yeah so maybe yeah. Which player would you like to meet if you could? Ooh. Um, shoot uh, Current player? Oh this is a hard question um, I think it'd be cool to meet, um, just going back to the United States with uh, our, like Abby Wambach, I think it'd be cool to meet her. Um, and I also, one of my idols was Brianna Scurry. She was a keeper back in the day with Mia Hamm, so I think it'd be cool to meet her. She was a big, uh, someone who I looked up to too when I was little. But. If you had the choice, which club would you like to play for? Um, well, I love playing for you, sir. <laughs> um, you know, it's just different from anything I've ever played for, and just to be in Europe is awesome. Um, but, I mean, uh, and I'm loving just trying to learn French and trying to learn a different language. It's really interesting, and it's, it's difficult at times because it, it gets frustrating. But, um, so, I mean, I could easily say in England for Arsenal or something, but, um, but yeah, I mean... I like where I'm at. France is cool. <laughs> what are your goals for this year with your club, Isaac? Um, I think I just want to, I don't know, I think I just want to do the best I can and um, uh, try not to get scored on six times. <laughs> um, but uh, just learn. I really want to learn a lot and get better and my goalkeeper coach is really great and he's really has helped me learn new things. Um, which is very refreshing to be at this level and to, um, to still be learning new stuff is, uh, is really, really cool and I, I feel like I, I can only get better. So just getting better and improving and hopefully impressing some people, but we'll see. <laughs> Would you like to stay in Europe for several seasons or just this one? Um, I, I'm, I'm okay staying longer. <laughs> Um, I mean, I just graduated college. I don't have a job in the States, so um, I'm open to play soccer for as long as I can. So. <laughs> what are your impressions of Olympique Lyonnais that you have just met? Uh, it's, uh, they're very intense, very good. Um, I know that they have a whole bunch of uh, French national team players, and I watched them play Ireland, uh, the Fr France play Ireland the other day. Uh, so I saw a lot of those players on TV. It was cool to see them in person. You know, I, I don't really know those players because 
I'm not from France, so it's I, I didn't grow up seeing them or anything like that. But it was, I mean, they're a great team, very quick, and um, you know they can definitely finish. <laughs> is becoming part of the U.S. team one of your goals? Uh, yeah, um, it, it is one of my goals. They we have a U23 under 23 team. Um, that has some tryouts in um, January, so I'm hoping maybe if I do well enough here that they'll call me in for, for that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it'd be great to, uh, to play for my country. Yeah, it'd be awesome. Have you been to France before this year? I have. Uh, he just asked me that. Um, I have been to France. I went to Paris, and um, as well as Florence and Rome, Italy, uh, back in January. So about eight months ago, I guess, with my best friend from home, yeah. Which cities or towns did you know of? Yeah, Paris, I know uh, Paris a little bit. Um, and uh, that was pretty much it uh, in France. I guess Lyon's a big city too. Um, and I'd like to go there and hang out. The only, I flew into Lyon, so I didn't really see it. And it was like a 10 hour flight, so I fell asleep, but. Um, but yeah, and uh, we went over to Grenoble, I think is how it's called, or Grenoble, um, and it was cool to see the Alps, the French Alps were awesome, yeah, so. Have you visited other countries in Europe? The Italy, Italy was the one I had visited, and I went to uh, Florence and saw the David and um, did all the touristy things and then went to Rome, which Rome is probably one of the, I mean, definitely, Paris is awesome, don't get me wrong, Rome is, whew, Rome is awesome. <laughs> Rome is it's just so old and ancient and it's, it's just amazing, it really is. So. Have you discovered the French cuisine? What did you think of it? Is there a particular dish that you like? You love your bread. <laughs> you love your cheese, fromage and pan. Um, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, um, my favorite dish, I don't know. I really like that you guys like Nutella too. <laughs> Nutella doesn't really come around much in the States. <laughs> I don't know, I'm saying really healthy foods. Um, I love apples and, um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't know. Um, and uh, I guess, yeah, just cheese and bread has been what I've been eating a lot of and yogurt and it's been all good. It's, it's a lot of stuff we have back, in, back at home, so it's not too different, but. What are your favorite French words? French words? <laughs> oh, um, I really like screaming Monte at my team <laughs> uh, in like a really loud domineering voice, Monte. Um, and I, what else? Oh, Bascule. And my coach talked, Bascule is like some, I don't even know if that's really the right way to say it or the term, some way he's taught me how to turn um, when I'm getting up from diving. Uh, and then we have, you know, gouche, ox, doigt. Uh, it's pretty much about my. It's pretty much my vocab for soccer, at least. And then Savia and Sol, um, but bonjour. That's a good word. <laughs>